All right, guys, this is unit conversions part two, a couple of harder questions. So the first one is change 303 centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters into cubic meters. So we're going to start with what we know, which is 303 cubic centimeters. But I'm going to write it as 303 centimeters, 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 because it's cubic centimeters. So notice that the centimeters is cubed, but the 303 is not. So we just write the 303 one time, and we're going to write centimeters three times. And I just write it like this to visualize to myself that I'm going to need centimeters on the bottom three times in order to cancel those out. And what I want to end up with is meters, or cu actually cubic meters. So I need meters, meters, meters which will give me my answer in cubic meters or meters to the third power. So then I just need the conversion between centimeters and meters. And I know that 100 centimeters is equivalent to one meter. So I'm going to write that conversion ratio down. And so my math is just telling me I'm going to multiply the tops together and I get 303. I'm going to multiply the bottoms together and I get six zeros with a one in front. Um, or you could do that in your calculator if you need to. Uh, and then I'm going to double check my units and make sure that I'm ending up with what I want. So my centimeters all canceled and I end up with meters times meters times meters, which is meters cubed. So that's correct. And let me zoom out here for you guys. There we go. Um, and so I'm going to divide this now. You can do this in your head if you want, but I'm going to show you in the calculator. So I get 303e negative 4, which is telling me that it's a really small number. Basically, my decimal was here, and I moved it back six times because I'm dividing by this number with six zeros in it. Um, so you could write... 0 0.000303 and that would be equivalent to 3.03 .03 times 10 to the negative 4 and both of those are going to be in cubic meters so I would prefer this answer in scientific notation whoops there we go sorry about that all right next problem 4.0 grams per liter is how many grams per milliliter? So we're going to start by writing this. This is the first one I think I've done with you guys like this, where we have 4.0 grams on top, and it's 4.0 grams per liter, so per every one liter. So that's the way we're going to write this grams per liters to start with. And now we're going to just convert the liters part of this into milliliters. So I don't need to worry about the grams. I can end up with grams on top because I want that in my answer. Um, and that's what I started with. So I'm not going to change my grams. I'm just going to change my denominator here. And I know that I want liters on top and I want to change it into milliliters. So I know that there is 1,000 milliliters per liter. So 1 over 1,000. And that's going to work out because my liters will cancel and I'll get milliliters in the bottom, which is what I want here. So I end up with 4.0 divided by 1,000, which you can type into your calculator or you can just move your decimal back three times because there's three zeros. So 0 0.004 grams per milliliter. Uh, and this would be appropriate to also put in scientific notation. So we're going to move our decimal right here in front of the first significant digit. So we have 4.0. And then that's times 10 to the negative third grams per milliliter. OK, number three, express two minutes in milliseconds. So center this here. So I know I'm starting with minutes. Let me switch to this color. 2.0 minutes. And 
I don't know how many milliseconds are in a minute, but I know that I can change minutes into seconds because I know that there are 60 seconds for every one minute. Uh, and so that helps with my minutes, but now I have seconds. And I don't want seconds, I want milliseconds. So I'm just going to change my seconds now, put it on the bottom so it cancels, into milliseconds. I'm going to abbreviate that, abbreviate that with MS. Um, and so I know the prefix milli means a thousand, so there's a thousand milliseconds per second. So then we're going to multiply. The bottom is just one. Um, and I'm going to cancel and I'm going to end up with milliseconds as my units. So I just need to do 2.0 times 60 times 1,000. And I get um, 120,000. Milliseconds, uh, which I'm going to write in scientific notation as well. So I'm going to put my decimal right after the first significant digit right there. So 1.2 times 10 to the fifth milliseconds. That's a five. Okay, the last one is gonna ask you to use your density as your conversion ratio. So it says we have 10 cubic meters of aluminum and I wanna know what the mass of that 10 cubic meter brick of aluminum is in grams. And I know since it's pure aluminum, I can look up the density. The density of aluminum is, of aluminum is 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. So I see here that I have cubic meters, but my density is in regular SI units of grams per cubic centimeter. So the first thing I want to do is change my 10 cubic meters into cubic centimeters. So I'm going to do that step first so that I have matching units to work with. So 10 meter meter meters that's 10 cubic meters and I'm going to convert that into centimeters so I need three of these ratios and I know that there are 100 centimeters per one meter so this helps me because I can cancel out meters and meters, meters and meters, meters and meters, and I'm going to end up with centimeters, some centimeters, some centimeters is centimeters cubed. Ooh, there we go. Uh, so this is easy because all the bottom, the denominator is just one, so we can ignore it. Uh, and the top is just numbers with zeros and ones. So I'm going to have a one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven zeros. Seven. I didn't have room. Um, so one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to take this and use my density to convert it into grams. And so how, the way I'm going to do that is 10. So I have this volume in cubic centimeters. I can put that over one. And then I'm going to multiply that, and I know I need my centimeters to be on the bottom to cancel out because I want to end up with grams. So I can just take the density just like I see it. There are 2.7 grams per one cubic centimeter. And you could write that upside down if you needed to, depending on what you were trying to cancel out. But here, I know this will work because my cubic centimeters is going to cancel with cubic centimeters, and I'll end up with grams. Uh, so this is just going to be 2.7 times all these zeros. So that's 27 oh, 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 grams. And this is definitely a case where I would prefer you to write the answer in scientific notation. So I'm going to put my decimal after the first significant digit right there. Uh, so I get 2.7 times 10 to the seventh grams. And that is the end of this video.